Well, it's been an exciting week in sports, and for all of the highlights, we turn to Sunny Yang with the sunny side of sports. Sunny. Hi, Vincent. My guest on Africa 54 is Austin Okan Akpan, head of sports at VOA partner Channels Television in Nigeria. Sporty greetings and welcome, Austin. Sporty greetings, Sunny. <laughs> Good to be here. Payback Friday. <laughs> Payback Friday. Yeah. And uh, I want to say, Austin, I know you're closely following the Golden Eaglets mm -hmm. of Nigeria, the country's national under-17 team playing for the world title on Sunday mm. against another African squad, Mali. Mm. How do you see that match? That's double love for us, uh, Sonny. It shows the world is becoming African. <laughs> you know, in 1993 in Japan, it was Nigeria taking on Ghana. In 2015 now in Chile, it's Nigeria taking on Mali. But special shout out to the Golden Eaglets of Nigeria. That team, they have been phenomenal. Played arguably the best game against Mexico last night and win, winning down by four goals to two. And they look good to win it. Defending champions, the Golden Eaglets are, and they've won the competition for a record four times. They'll do it for the fifth time, Sonny. I want to give another shout out for number nine on the Golden Eaglets, Victor O'Seaman. Mm -hmm. Record breaking performance. Mm -hmm. Where's the number nine jersey? And has scored nine goals. <laughs> and has tied with the all time record goal scorer for the under 17 FIFA World Cup. Now, on Sunday, it's going to make it maybe 10 or 11 because I know he's going to score more goals on Sunday. But not just Victor Simon, it's been a team effort. Kochimano Ramonike has been teaching those guys how to play as a team. And you can see from the way even the captain, Kelechi Wakali, commands the team. He carries them along. And so far, Nigeria has been the highest scoring team. They've made it to the final and, of course, favorites to win on Sunday. Coach Amenike, how, how much credit do you give him, Austin, for, Fantastic. for the a, team? He's a good coach. Remember the FIFA technical study group? They came out to say the Nigerian team has, has an admirable um, tactics and play on the, on the field. Coach Amenike has played for the team, for the Super Eagles of Nigeria, and when he was playing, he was a ferocious attacker. Mm. And you can <laughs> see that in this team. They have the philosophy of going out there to score. They might lean back, watch you do your thing, but when they catch you on the counter, you get punished. 11 over 10 for Coach Mario Amunike. Two teams from West Africa in mm. Sunday's final, Nigeria and Mali, Austin. Does that speak to where the balance of power lies in African football? That's what it is, Sonny. You're so on point. It is the future of African football, West Africa. We've done good things with our football, and you can tell with the stars that have come out of West Africa. Didier Drogba, Samuel Otu, Austin Okocha, Wankwo Kanu. You know, even in recent times, we have them still doing big things. So... It doesn't say anything different. Mali did big things um, at the, at the under-17 African Championship, and they're hoping to do that at the World State. The Golden Eaglets, they've been winning this competition. Guess what, Sonny? They've won it four times mm. on Asian soil. Okay. Let's see if they can change it on Sunday. <laughs> All right, my special guest, Austin Okan Akpan, mm. head of sports at VOA Partner Channels Television in Nigeria. Thank you very much, Austin. Thank you so much, Sonny. <laughs> I'm VOA Sonny Young, and that's the sunny side of sports. Vincent? Well, we had a blast there. Thanks a lot, Sonny. Remember to watch for the sunny side of sports every Monday and Friday right here on Africa 54. Well, it, uh, that's our show for today. Be sure to watch Africa 54 on our website at voaafrica.com. For more news, tune in to VOA's evening radio show, Africa News Tonight at 1800 UTC and in the mornings. Today, break Africa between 0300 and 0600 UTC, Monday through Friday. Thanks a lot for watching and from all of us here in Washington, have a good night.